yellow shirt today in honor of Beyonce's epic performance at Coachella. Sorry, it's the only yellow shirt I got. And if your dolls couldn't make it to the music festival, let's bring it to them. We have picked out some of our favorite crafts to give your dolls the ultimate music experience. From a concert stage to a microphone, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to make headphones for a doll using a plastic bottle, small stickers, buttons, a marker, rubber bands, and glue. I start by cleaning and removing the stickers from a plastic bottle. Carefully cut a section from the bottle to get a tube. Using a permanent marker, I'm going to draw the headband onto the tube. Placing rubber bands onto the tube, evenly spaced apart, helps to draw straight lines. Once the ink has dried, remove the rubber bands, place a button where the ear cup should go, trace around it, repeat on the other side, cut it out, carefully going around the lines drawn, glue two buttons together, repeat to make two, glue them inside the cutout to make the headphones. Add a small sticker on the outside for decoration. It may be helpful to measure around the doll's head to get the appropriate size. Use a larger or smaller bottle to resize the headphones to fit almost any size doll, and you're done. Happy crafty! going to make a guitar for a doll using recycled cereal boxes, scrapbook paper, a nail file, craft paint, Mod Podge or clear school glue, ribbon, a push pin, coated paper clips, thread, a pencil, and more glue. On a flat piece of cardboard from a cereal box, I start by sketching out a design for the headstock and neck. And I plan out where the tuning pegs should be to make sure they end up over the neck. Cut it out, trace it, and draw the body of the guitar. Cut it out, then trace just the body, stopping at the neck. And I round off that opening with a small notch. Cut it out to make my patterns. Trace several, making more of the body than the others. Cut them out, begin stacking and gluing them together using a glue stick. So we did seven of the body cutouts, then two of the full ones, and then two more of just the neck. Sand the edges to make them smooth, paint it with craft paint, trace and cut the pattern onto a piece of scrapbook paper, then sketch out a design cut it out and glue it on to be the pick guard cut pieces of scrapbook paper for the pickups and bridge cut thin strips of scrapbook paper glue them to the neck to be the frets use drops of paint for the position markers and knobs score and remove the coating from a paper clip pinch the end then glue them to the side for the pegs. Make a knot at the end of some thread. Glue the knot to the top of the guitar. Repeat for the other strings and allow it to dry. Once the glue has dried enough to keep the strings secure, glue the other ends at the bottom. Trim off the excess. Glue another piece of paper on top 
Carefully push a push pin into the corner of the bridge. Glue a cut piece of a paper clip into its place. Apply another layer of Mod Podge. Glue on a piece of ribbon for the strap. And if I want to make an acoustic guitar, I just cut a hole from the center of the full size pattern. Then glue them together just as before. Before I attach the neck, I paint the circle black, trace the pattern onto a piece of scrapbook paper, then cut it out and glue it on top. Then I paint the lower portion of the neck before gluing it on. Sand the sides, paint the rest of the neck, paint the sides, glue scrapbook paper to the back. With a dry brush of paint, begin fading the edge. Add the pick card, bridge, then continue just as before. Only this time, we use beads for the pegs. And you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a concert stage for a doll using a cardboard box, shoe boxes or photo storage boxes, felt, scrapbook paper, q-tips, empty boxes from a bar of soap, empty spools of thread, acrylic jewels, printables from our blog, skewers or wooden dowels, acrylic paint, computer paper, extra cardboard, and glue. I start by cutting open a cardboard box so I can see all four sides. Fold down and glue the bottom tabs, cut off the top tabs, glue extra cardboard on the bottom to make a large open box. Cover the raw edges with white paper, cover the inside of the box with scrapbook paper, and I chose to use black on the walls, a dark gray on the floor, then cover the outside as well. Take an empty box from a bar of soap, glue on paper, Cut out printables from our blog, glue them onto the box to make speakers. Cut the ends off of Q-tips, take skewers or wooden dowels, use a ruler to make evenly spaced marks all the way down, place two side by side, then glue on the Q-tips connecting the dots in a zigzag. After making two, line them up and use more Q-tips to connect them. Paint it, glue them going around the walls of the box, Add acrylic jewels, add the speakers to complete the basic stage. Now let's decorate the stage for a concert. I can add more scaffolding, cut glitter paper to fit snugly between them, and I'm choosing not to glue them down. I'm simply placing it behind the poles on the scaffold so that I can switch them out as I please. We cut out printables from our blog, and I chose to first map the image on cardstock then with a small piece of cardboard. Then glue them to the glitter paper to give it dimension from the wall and allow me to glue them at different angles while holding their shape. Glue acrylic jewels to empty spools of thread. Glue them to the scaffold to give the illusion of lights. Cut circles out of glitter paper, then lay them on the floor for a splash of color. Now let's take it a step further. Using small LED lights from the craft store and a small rubber band, Loop the rubber band over the beams of the scaffold, then put the light in the rubber band to make a stage with working lights. And if we would like to elevate the stage, we can cover the sides of a shoe box or photo storage box with felt, then line up enough for the stage to fit on top. And just for fun, we can use a tablet to make a video of the doll, carefully place it in the set to make a working jumbotron. And you're done. Happy crafting!
is a quick craft. I am going to make a headset microphone using coated paper clips, buttons, a sponge roller, pom poms, and glue. I will also be using needle nose pliers and floral wire cutters, and since they are sharp, adult supervision is required. However, depending on how soft the wire is, they may not be needed. I start by unfolding a paper clip. For a larger doll like an 18 inch, we found these large paper clips at an office supply store. Curl one end, place the curl near the doll's ear, gently begin to bend the paper clip, and I'm using the leg of a metal chair to get it nice and smooth to fit around the doll's head. At the other ear, bend it forward and make a slight bend. Glue a button to the curled end and on the other side at the bend. And if you happen to have a sponge roller laying around, cut off a small piece that is the same size as the button. It may be helpful to use the button as a guide. Glue the foam on the inside, creating a small cushion so the wire does not damage the doll. Glue a pom-pom on the end for the microphone. I can even change the color of the headband by painting it with acrylic paint. And you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a microphone for a doll using pom-poms, a coated paper clip, black and silver scrapbook paper, mini hair rubber bands, tool, the end of a paintbrush, or toothpick, and glue. I start by rolling a piece of black paper on the end of a paintbrush, or toothpick. Remove the toothpick, use glue to secure the end, trim off the excess, cut it down to the desired size. Wrap a pom-pom in a square of netting, pull it tight, and secure with a small hair rubber band. Trim off the excess, apply glue to the paper tube, then push the end of the rubber band inside. Cut thin strips of a silver scrapbook paper, glue it around the pom-pom and at the top of the paper tube. Score a paper clip to remove the coating and glue it to the bottom. And you're done. Happy crafting! Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!